Okay, basically we're um, looking at persons with albinism, and for the sake of the three minutes I'll call them PWAs, because it's quite a mouthful. Uh, Basically, globally, one person in um, 18,000 people have albinism. In sub-Saharan Africa, it's one person in 1,400. So it's a much bigger problem there than it is here. It's very poorly understood. It's believed to be a curse and contagious. There's a lot of myths and misconceptions. Uh, We've had a lot of um, severe discrimination. There have been 165 (laughs) witchcraft-fueled murders, 435 attacks and mutilations for body parts. And in Tanzania, where there are reliable figures, about 98% of people with albinism die before they reach the age of 40. That's the background to our project. Um, Our southern partner is, again, the um, Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Blantyre, which I've understood is getting quite a lot of partnerships. Um, But we're a GP surgery, so it's a very different partnership. I'm a complete newbie. I have a a business background, so no clinical uh, work whatsoever other than being married to a very enthusiastic GP. Um, Basically, we've had the um, visit to us in that um, Kelvin, our dermatologist, came to a primary care dermatology conference here. And I think some of the GPs met Kelvin. And that was really successful in that it's got us some other funding um, to fund some clinical officers in Malawi. Um, Practical challenges and opportunities. Well, being a complete newbie, my biggest challenge was getting Kelvin a visa to Ireland. The visa into Ireland was easy, but what I didn't realise was that getting a visa into the UK to transit him home was virtually impossible. So we ended up having to cancel his flight. So from a very practical point of view, I would love newbie Esters to actually have a very practical either question and answer sheet or just little things like that, because it could have ended up costing us a good percentage of our grant. We were lucky I took out insurance on the flight. Um, Budget restrictions. We were told to start the way we mean to continue. Don't fund everything up front because um, it will be an expectation then and that will be very difficult to manage going forward. That's very difficult. But we have managed to get the national government to provide us with a jeep and a driver, which talking to people seems to be um, we're we're on a winner on that. Um, We leave next week. Um, One of our problems was sunblock for these clinics. Again, we've managed to get the Association of Albinos uh, in Malawi to provide us with sunblock because we stood our ground and said it was very difficult for us to bring that with us. Um, Okay, yeah, Uh, security. This has become an issue. We had not anticipated this, but because of the murders in Malawi and the mutilations, Security, obviously we're advertising on radio that these clinics are going to take place and we're potentially creating targets. So we've had to involve the police uh, in planning these visits and obviously it's something that we hadn't considered. Again, it's a learning curve. Um, We also have to look at what if in this pilot we discover serious skin cancers, how do we manage that? We had not planned that in our funding application, so we're looking at how we could possibly fund that separately. Opportunities. The statistics we hope to gather will inform government policy, and that's what we're hoping. We've linked to the Primary Care Dermatology Society here, the Surgical Association, looking at strengthening the reciprocal nature of the project, because we believe the future is in the community and not really in the hospital situation. Um, We're also looking at people who've already done this in other countries. Tanzania is light years ahead of Malawi in this field. So we've linked up with two NGOs there. Um, They're sending an observer on our um, visit next week. We hope to gain hugely and not try to reinvent the wheel. Um, Also, there's been a UN ambassador for albinism recently appointed. We hope again to meet her. PWAs are also a very disadvantaged population. We work in a very disadvantaged area of Dublin. So we're also looking at, not only just within our own surgery, but within our community, ways of trying to develop reciprocal links. Because in terms of advocacy and what people have done in Tanzania, we're looking at maybe linking that to some of the drug projects in our area, or just kind of trying to develop ideas within the community. Um, Also, teaching is an opportunity. We've lengthened our trip because Mark, my husband, is actually going to link in with some teaching of um, some family medicine programme while we're there, which again is something we're looking at. So it's a bit like a spider's web, and I suppose being completely new to it, I have found that the more I'm here and the more I get involved, the more people and the more things I hear about. But it's it's like trying to um, find the spider in the middle. (laughs) There's all these things dotted around, and it's just to try and bring the whole thing together. But hopefully days like this and Esther are helping that. Thank you.